since I wanted to uh, <laughs> share it with you guys because I wanted to look it up on Spotify afterward. I used to have a lot of cassette singles and you guys, some of these might be really like dirty and dusty. Um, you know, shit's been in storage. I don't know why I bought this because I bought the album. Oh, I know why I bought it. Madonna, Ray of Light. I bought it because of the B-side. It was a non-album version, a non-album track called Has To Be. That's why I bought it. Oh my God, this is so, oh, this is so old. This is from uh, probably 92 as well. Let me see. Um, no, this is from 1990. Her name was Betty Boo. She was from the UK. Betty Boo. Betty Boo is doing a do when you are through. And there's nothing you can do. That was a nice little song. Oh, this is... God. I actually was playing this at work uh, on Saturday. I was playing it on YouTube while I was doing my job. And so the artist's name is Lador. 
and the song is called People Are Still Having Sex. This was a hit back in the day. It was uh, from 1991. It was a big dance hit. Or remixed by Rafi Rosario. See, what you guys may, some of you guys know this, but some of you newer subscribers may not know. I really am a music lover, but I never really share a lot on the Choose channel about, you know, my music collection or anything. I'm kind of all over the place, genre-wise. But I do have a preference for old school. Um, so this is kind of cool for me to share these, what I call artifacts in the form of cassettes and cassette singles <laughs> with you guys. Um, okay, this is uh, TLC Unpretty. Cassette single. I think I got this because of the uh, the Don't Look Any Further remix. They took the song by uh, Dennis Edwards that was a hit in 1984 and they um, used the sample. It contains excerpts from that track and they used it here and this was the only place I could find it at the time. Now, I don't know whatever happened to this group. I think they truly only had this one hit. The group is called She Moves. And the song is called Breaking All the Rules. This was a cute little song. I loved it. Um, from 1997. I'm gonna leave this out too. I'm gonna see. Jordy and that one. I don't need to. Maybe I'll look up uh, Betty Boo too. I shouldn't though. Okay. Now I'm gonna dig into my actual like cassette cassettes. Now. And from. 1993, from the Tommy Boy label, we have Naughty by Nature, Hip Hop Array. It's an LP version and an extended mix. I have uh, another track by them called Written on Your Kitten. There's a remix on it that I like a lot. And I have one other album album by them. Now this group is from the UK. They're a duo and actually one of them died. The group is called Mel and Kim. This is from 19... Oh my god. 87. The album's called FLM. Fur, Love, and Money. The big hits off of here are... Showing out, get fresh at the weekend. Showing out, showing out. Yeah, it sounds good, don't it? <laughs> and um, FLM, I think that was a track, a uh, hit in the UK. And then, respectable is their other big hit off of here. Day, 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 day. Take or leave us only, please believe us. We never gonna be respectable, respectable. That was my jam. I love it. Yeah, one of them died. I'm not sure which one, but um, they're twins. I always thought that was so sad because she was so young when she died. Anyway, that's Mel and Kim. Uh, okay. See when I when I show you these, you'll see what I mean when I say I'm all over the place. Um, this is from 1984. The Pretenders Learning to Crawl, a classic album. Classic. You know, depending. 
kind of what you listen to in 84. Truly, I have heard. Oh my God, there was probably maybe two or three songs that did not get airplay, particularly on um, a station here called WXRT at the time. I mean, Middle of the Road was the big hit, but Back on the Chain Gang was another one. Um, show Me, Show Me, oh my God. Um, 2,000 Miles, Then Line Between Love and Hate. Time the Avenger, Watch Knuckle. This is a classic album. Get this. If you want to hear some good old school rock, get this. Highly recommend it. But I love the Pretenders. Period. So let's have a little water. Zenyatta Mandata from 19, from 1980. This is another classic album. I think it has one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, eleven songs. All classics. Don't stand so close to me, driven to tears when the world is running down. Canary in a coal mine, voices in my head. Um, the do 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 da da da, da shadows in the rain, and for some reason, I really love the last track. It's an instrumental called "The Other Way of Stopping." It's a moody but driving instrumental. It's really good. Anyway, a classic album. Man, I need to make a police and pretenders uh, playlist. That would, oh God, that would be so fucking hot. That would be so good. I'm gonna do that shit. Let me put that right here with the rest of the, okay. Okay, I'm gonna go through these. Cause I, gotta, I gotta get to the lollipop. Dummy. And um, 
there were a few good tracks on here, but the most popular one was probably Sour Times. Nobody loves me. It's true. Not like you do. That song is so haunting. They had uh, uh, other good ones on here too. Like Strangers. Wandering Star, that's another good one. Biscuits, Roads, Saga Owl, Portishead. But I like their second album much better. It's way darker. Yes, I own the Players Club soundtrack. We be clubbing. Everybody like when the girl shakes something, don't boom, nothing. I want to say the N-word, but uh, Ice Cube was one of my husbands. Um, this has Ice Cube, DMX, Changing Faces, Corrupt, Mas Master P, Presha, MAC-10, Scarface, Jay-Z, Brownstone, Mia X, oh God, remember Mia X, Public Announcement, Rufus Blacks featuring Spinderella. I kind of bought it for that too. And a few other people. This is a great movie. I'm sure this is not on uh, Spotify. It's hard to find soundtracks on Spotify. And speaking of soundtracks. Preda Porte. Um, I I think I saw this movie. I don't know that I care for it, but the big ones off of here is uh, I need Kamosi. You remember him? It come the hot step. Uh, word of a word of a uh, good one. I bought it for that one in Salt and Pepper. You know, they're my, one of my my favorite female rap group. Uh, M People is on here Janet Jackson The song she has on here called 70's Love Groove it's a, it's a slow cut The Cranberry's Pretty That's a fucking God that's a gorgeous song It's so haunting And um U2 has a, a remix of a track called Linen It's really like dancing it's okay. It's an okay album. I want to say something about this. Now, they're called Pizzicato 5. It's, uh, I guess you would call it K-pop or Japanese pop. I don't know. Wow. But what I'll say... Um, the the big hit off of here is Twiggy Twiggy. I know it was featured in some 90s movie. I just can't remember which one it was. Um, but look up Twiggy Twiggy and you'll be familiar with the song probably. This was in the, this was came out in 94. I love this album. It was so hard trying to find this album on Spotify for a long time. But I discovered recently, maybe two or three weeks ago, uh, they have a sprawling, like, I guess, anthology, but it's all in, like, Japanese. And when I decided to give it a listen one day at work, I discovered that this album is part of that list. I was so happy. So now I gotta remember to make a Bitsukato 5 playlist. I'm gonna leave that right here. Oh God. I didn't mean to grab this. It's more pretenders. It's the, the greatest hits. I didn't mean to grab that though.